Ooh, hello there, my fellow miners and crafters. Gatan Zoskar here, and welcome back to Project Ozone, high above in the hermit skies. And in our last episode, what did we do in our last episode? Because all I have in my mind is the crazy live stream that we did over the weekend, where we set up our little array here that makes all these compressed cobblestone blocks and it was super easy like I just went into it and just like boom 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 got it all done within like five minutes it was crazy no I didn't it was it was hours <laughs> <laughs> anyway, then we also built this portal, which is looking super fancy, and we even have a lava well here for our demon ingots, which is super fancy, and we even went to the deep dark, which is kind of amazing, except we ruined the deep dark because there is a giant fish tank there now, and we want to go on a rescue mission and clean that up. So let's go over to our crafting area before we get into our main part of this episode today which we're gonna learn to fly. That is right, we're finally gonna fly. So this is the thing we're looking for, simple sponge, okay? Because we don't have any of these fancy sponges and I'm not 100% what a compressed magnetic sponge on a stick. Oh, I've always wanted a sponge on a stick. Oh, that's amazing. Anyway, um, so we need just wool and we need a slime, but see, did you see it? Congealed blood. That's right, congealed blood. We're gonna make some magic happen today. Here we go. I know I've got some blood here. I saw it like the other day here. Um, there it is, there it is. We can make three of these things, amazing. Okay, so let's pull three of those out, boom and bam, and we'll get the sticks out of there, beautiful. And look at that, we got three sponges. That's fantastic. Anyway, all right, so let's go over to the portal. Let's go clean out this fish tank that we created. Wait, that's the end portal there, Scar. Wrong portal, there we go. This is Portal Island, by the way. It's kind of amazing. <laughs> we need a proper island for our deep dark portal. Super mysterious. All right, so we're going in here. All right, be on your be on your lookout. Okay. Oh yeah, this is way more water than I remember. <laughs> I don't think this is going to. Wait. Oh wow. Oh my gosh. Wow. That is like a super sponge. I was like, oh, this isn't gonna work for this. Oh, it's coming back on us. <laughs> <laughs> okay, these are super sponges. I love it. I love it. Okay, so this totally worked. Oh, we need this. Oh, we need this. We need this guy. There we go. We need some of that ink. And let's see. Anything else? Anything else? Oh, oh, over here. Over here. Get him. There we go. There we go. How many was that? Okay, that's eight because we do need some of this today. And I think this is now watery sponge. <laughs> I think that's watery sponge. But anyway, there we go. So the deep dark is... Oh, it's coming down on us again. <laughs> I tried. I tried. I guess we have to keep these in place or do we need to get them all out of here first? That might be the case. We need more of these to clean this all out. Okay, because there's still source blocks above. Okay. Okay. I see how it is. I see how it is. Um, so let's uh, let's jump out of here. Let's jump out of there and we'll make some more of those a little bit later. We might have to jump into our smelter and bleed ourselves a little bit. This is like the 1500s. You feel a little ill? All right, well, come on over here. Let's bleed you down a little bit. It's true facts. Okay, so we've got some ink because we're going to need that today because like I said earlier, we are going to fly. That is right. So. What we need to do is we need to lasso a gas. And you remember how well that went in Foolcraft. Oh boy. And then we got to lasso a bat. And then of course, a flying squid. Okay, well, we can just go back to where we were and get a squid. That'll be super easy. And a flying chicken, which is actually not that bad because, well, we've got an entire chicken farm over there. Well, it's not really a farm, it's just a holding pen. Anyway, so that's looking super simple, but let's jump into our quest log here and jump on here and look at this. I've been making the dank knolls. Mm hmm that's right. And we're gonna get some loot chests for it. These things are actually kind of hard to make because the farther you go down the tree, you just gotta keep crafting and crafting. I'm sure there's like a automated way of doing it or something along those lines. But let's crack some of these open and oh my gosh, we finally got something worthwhile in here. Oh, this is fantastic. If we want more solar arrays. This is like the best thing we've ever got out of a chance cube or whatever these are. Loot chests. Oh, that is awesome. Okay, we already have a draconic core. And what is that? A spider charm. Okay, but we finally, 
finally got something worthwhile. Look at that, the dark blue one too. Oh, this is this is really good. I have good thoughts. I have good uh, good hopes for better stuff. Let's jump over here and see if we can grab a couple more of these things. Wow. Okay, that is actually fantastic. I'm gonna get some more of these now. I was just gonna open three of them, but now I have the uh, the luck of a thousand scars behind me. And uh, let's open a couple more of these. There we go. All right. Bam. What is this? Nature core. Hello, nature core. Don't know what you do, but you are kind of cool looking. Okay. So let's go to the next one. What is this? Stabilize fluid duct. Okay, well, I'm sure these things are really cool, but I don't know what they are. Lithium dust again. Oh, come on now. <laughs> we had such, we got such good things right there. Oh, what is this? A gas charm. We have a gas charm. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh. We really broke the bank today, guys. Bam. That's all we really needed in life was 16 stone blocks and eight wood blocks. Wow. That is, that just made my day right there. Look at that. <laughs> oh man, that is rough. Anyway, so what I need to do now, get some supplies together and let's start crafting our angel rings. I smell Frenderman. Yep, there they are. There they are. I'm just doing my daily cleaning of the nether of all of these wretched creatures. The unfriendermen of the nether. Yeah, yeah, go crazy. That's right. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Die with the passion of a thousand scars from the blade of revenge. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just here in the nether doing a little scouting, if you will, on how we're going to lasso the gas. So in Foolcraft, we had the bouncy boots. Do you remember the bouncy boots from Tinkers? So we did our bouncing and we were able to jump on top of him and then we pushed him under lava, beat him with a fishing pole and then we captured him and it was kind of amazing. But we don't have bouncy boots and I'm not exactly sure how we're going to get him. So that's why I wanted to come here and do a little scouting and of course do my duty here on the server which was bestowed upon me by the other members is to clean the nether of all the unfriendermen because these are all lies. These are all lies and betrayal right here. Mm -hmm. All lies and betrayal and broken hearts. Anyway, so let me do a little more scouting around here. See if we can maybe find some uh, slime because you can find slime here in the nether. I have done that before, so I'll do a little more scouting, try to figure out how we're going to lasso this guest and I'll be right back. All right, so out of the nether now, and I um, still do not know how we're going to capture that gas yet, but that's okay. I got a ton of ore, so look at all that awesome stuff. We didn't get any skeleton heads of the wither variety, unfortunately, but we got their tears, which is, oh wait, I thought that was a tear. It's just a drop of evil, not a tear. A tear is true evil, I suppose. <laughs> also, some prized uh, unfriendermen skulls, which are always nice, so we'll clear all of that out. And I love my little storage array. I can't wait to make this like into a proper storage drawer array, like really get everything all sorted out. But I'm actually still really happy with what we got. We got the little controller in the center and we just keep expanding it. And it's starting to come up pretty cool. And we've got a ton of ore. And I'm looking towards, ah, here it is. So there's my redstone. And I'm going to need a gold. And how about some emeralds? And oh, I still have an empty slot. Ooh, what shall we smelt down? Ooh, that is the question. Hmm. <laughs> oh, we can do another gold. Beautiful. All right, awesome. So let's run over to our ender furnace here. And one thing I'd like to do is automate this a little bit more. So if you have any suggestions, the only thing that really comes to mind, let's cut this in half. Oh no, we have another stack here. Hmm. Oh, I didn't realize that. Anyway, um, is that we could take one of those smelters and place it, let's see, we would place it above this one, right? We'd place it up here and it would go down into here and then into that one. It would be nice if we could take this chest and then transfer it over to this one to finish out the alloy smelting. Hmm, we could definitely think about doing that, but let's jump back into our little crafting grid here. And why don't we just start working on some of the lower tier guys, like the bat, and the squid because <laughs> I still don't know how I'm going to get that guy, but we'll get it. So we need a chicken, we need a bat, and we need the flying squid. Haha, <laughs> I love that. So yeah, oh, what, what is this? Okay, here's the squid. So we definitely need to craft some of these. So we need some string, we need some gold ingots for that, and anything else, so just general gold, a little bit of glass. Is this special glass? 
I actually think it is this time special glass. So it looks like quite clear glass is needed for this. And then how shall we craft a quite clear glass? Thank you very much. And let's see, that is just glass resmelted down and then we get quite clear glass. I like it. Okay, so let me grab that materials and we'll start getting that chicken, that squid, and that bat. Oh, I love being as organized as I am and of course never throwing anything out because we had everything we need here. So what I've created is three golden lassos and of course a curse lasso for the cursed guest. So we've got that set up and ready to roll. I've got some glass. It turns out you just need plain glass. So that's cool. I have some residating crystals. So those are fancy and some gold and some iron, some feathers and some ink. And of course, ender pearls. And yeah, I think we've actually got everything we need. Oh, and some string and, and some uh, nuggets just in case we need any more of our lassos. So as I was going along, I completely forgot that you do need power for the ring. So that's a thing. And we're going to have to remember how to do the said power. If I remember correctly from Foolcraft 1, a one critical mole sent us a very useful graphic on how to do the water mills properly because if you go back to that episode I, I have no idea what I created but whatever it was uh, was scary I'll tell you that and it was not useful in any one way um, so we're looking for a squid so let's grab out our squid thingy and let's see if we can get one to fall on us here we did kind of kill them which was real unfortunate. Um, so let's see if we can actually get one of them. We could even put our grid power down here. Um, okay, I'm not seeing anything. We probably shouldn't have killed those two squids in here, but we also needed their die. Hmm, this is a bit of a problem. Um, okay, let me think about this. No, Mango drowned. No, okay, there's one, there's one. Okay, come on, come on, Scar, get him, get him. We got him. Nope. Nope. Yep. We did. <gasps> okay. Whew. Okay. That was, that was nerve wracking. I'm just sitting here thinking like, okay, maybe we go back to base and we can set up maybe like a like water slide or something, but there he was. Awesome. Fantastic. Okay. So we still need to come back here and fix this because it's super sad, but let's go home now. Ha ah, home, home, sweet home. It is. All right, so let's put our remnants of our friends in here. So we've got the two now. So we have the golden lasso of a squid and the golden lasso of a chicken. So that is very nice. So now what we still need to do is get the gas. Trying to be smart about this and I've got some of our fire resistance potion brewed up and ready to go for the nether and I always see Azuma using these ender pouches so I wanted to try them out so I grabbed one up created it threw all of our you know resources into here and look at it it's amazing look at that it looks super fancy we've got all that stored away in here but the question is this is an ender pouch and I was really just looking for something to store all my things in but this might actually be pretty cool because say we make another one, if it's an ender pouch, wouldn't that mean that we can access this either way? So if we die, we can just grab our spare ender pouch and grab our resources without having to go to our grave. And of course, these are all soul bound, well, except these two, but we can make these soul bound eventually. We just head over to Wells Mart and uh, we wouldn't have to go look for our graves anymore. That'd be kind of amazing. I love it. Anyway, uh, let's throw this aside. There we go. And then, hold on, let's throw these in there. Oh, no, we need to, oh, we need to disorganize something. There we go, disorganized. Okay, perfect. All right, there we go, and we got that. Now, another point would be, how do we do this the proper way? How do we do this the modded way? Because when I think of this particular series, I'm trying to do things the modded way. And if I remember correct, where was that bucket I had? Here it is, the fire water. And let's grab a spare bucket here because when we were doing the end challenge, trying to get to the end, Cubfin had fire water and he dropped the fire water down, right? And then he like added the fire water or something to it and like gas all of, all of a sudden appeared. Like how did he do that? Unless I don't have the right fire water maybe? That could be it. Hmm, that could be it, darn it. Because I was thinking we could potentially spawn in gas here and not have to go to the nether at all, but I don't think that works, or at least it's not 
I can't figure out a way to make it work. Ha, huh. darn it. Oh, I thought I had a good idea there that we could avoid going to the nether. Oh, our destiny is into the nether, isn't it? Maybe it's not our destiny because it's not fire water. It is witch water. That's right. So this is the stuff I think. I, I at least hope it is. So I'm not 100% sure how to actually make this. So water bucket into barrel. Witch water. There's some mycelium action here. Hmm. How do we make mycelium? Is there seeds like if we sift? Um, hmm. Okay. So there's just a block. Oh, seeds. Perfect. <gasps> Oh wait, spider eyes and seeds creates mycelium seeds. Okay, all right, don't laugh at my mob farm. It's temporary, we're gonna build a proper one, but it worked. I was able to get 10 spider eyes inside of our silly little uh, mob farm right there and I am out of there. I have, did not die in the process and I'm not planning on it. Okay, so let's jump over here and if I remember correct, because I, I've been looking for other things here, um, it should be, well, what am I doing with the recipe there? Oh, no, Scar, stop being dyslexic. There you go. Very nice. So we have mycelium seeds, and we should be able to plop that down. Bam! There we go. So now what we need to do is have this grow up and start spreading and doing it spreading. And then we should be able to get it with our silk touch and then put it in the barrel. I think that's going to work. And hopefully we can do this gas challenge in a really fun and unique way. And there we go. We've truly created season five of Hermacraft here on the island. We've got the mycelium growing and we should now have enough here in the inventory. So we have our stone barrel. We have our bucket and the mycelium. So let's drop that down over here and we should now be able to create this. So that should be enough. And then we'll drop our water in there. And it is. There it goes. It's transforming. And look at that. We even got ourselves a mushroom. I love it. Beautiful. Anyway, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the rest of all this mycelium, but I'm. Oh. We've already created. <laughs> I unintentionally created uh, more fire water or witch water. Oh, beautiful. Oh, we got it in our bucket. Oh, that's amazing. Let's drop it down and see what happens. Oh, that's fantastic. Okay, so now we need to remember is do we need to create a water stream? And when we see a squid, then we drop the fire water or witch water? I think that's how it goes. <laughs> and there we go. So unintentional uh, witch water was cr Um, What was that? Oh shoot! Oh shoot! Okay. Oh crud! I oh no! What if these things escaped into other people's bases? <gasps> okay, this might not be the best of ideas. Maybe this wasn't a good idea. Um. Oh, don't go over there, buddy! No, don't go. Okay. All right, everything's fine. Everything's fine. You guys didn't even see like at all anything. Um. <laughs> Okay, okay, we need to rethink this plan a little bit. <laughs> I'm just gonna be here killing gas, protecting the server. Swarm protector, Aquascar is. <laughs> Welcome back, and my greatest Minecraft scheme has been completed. So that is the gas box. And within the gas box, we are gonna spawn one, take it down with this bow, and lasso it together for our wings. So inside here, I'm going to drop down the fire water down into this little pit, and hopefully the gas will spawn within here and we'll be able to take him down. Now, as far as I know, gas cannot destroy cobblestone, and I hope that is true, because if not, we've got a problem. All right, here we go, bam! Okay, so that's down. We need to avoid touching this water because I did a little while ago and it's not good. So we're going to avoid that. Now let's sneak on down here, get our bow on the ready. We've got the lasso. We've got some emergency ender pearls just in case we need to make a, a daring escape. Hmm, nothing yet. I wonder if this is big enough. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six blocks. Should be six on either end. I don't know if the torches prevent them or not. They should be able to spawn in here. Hmm, I wonder if it needs to be dark. Okay, that was a mistake. Uh, we've got uh, charged creepers in here now. Ah, oh. <laughs> oh boy, let me clean this up. Oh, I just had a creeper blow up all of my cobblestone generators and we just lost it all onto the ground. I think we're running at about, yeah, we're running at about zero FPS at the moment. Um, that's not good. I will 
back out of here and disconnect. Rip our poor island. That charge creeper took out our entire cobblestone generation. The conduits that we created on stream, we had at least 12 million pieces of cobblestone completely lost that were compressed down and 122,000 cobblestone blocks that were scattered entirely over our island that with one to zero FPS, I slowly knocked out the blocks under them and sent them into the void, but also sending my cobblestone generator, sending the crucibles, all of that stuff down underground. And this is why we critically need our flight today so we can properly build up our island and maybe build a magma torch, I think. That might be awesome too. So back to our little uh, structure here. And inside here, I've been kind of going back and forth because what I was hoping to achieve was the water stream would come down to this level and the gas would spawn, similar to what we did earlier when we dropped down a water stream and it went down. So I don't know if it just needs more room to breathe to be able to generate more of the, you know, the squids which turn into gas like we did earlier. I'm not 100% sure, but what I do know is let's go up there and let's drop down the, uh, the witch water and we've got a squid in a lasso. We're just gonna drop the squid into the water and hopefully from that, we get ourselves a gas. So I really wanted to like create a whole bunch of them, right? That were floating around inside this cube and uh, then we were fighting that with them. So I think we still can achieve that. It potentially might be the mob cap is just too high for certain mobs like squids or something like that to be generated. So that might be the case. But either way, my friends, it is time. We have the golden lasso. We have a squid locked in, ready to go. And let's wait. Hmm. I just thought of something. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't want to actually touch the water, but I still want to be able to attack this guy. Okay. Hmm. How should we do this? How should we do this? Okay. Okay. I know what we should do. Let's just take this and we're going to go like that all the way around here. So hopefully we won't get blinded in the battle. Perfect. There we go. Except I don't know what I did here. I was playing snake or something. Anyway, where's my lasso? Oh, here it is. Okay. I'm going to grab this. I'm going to have that on the ready. Okay. Wish me luck. Bam. Come on, Mr. Squid. No. Here, go into the water. Go in. Go in there. Yeah, yeah there you go. There you go. Look at you. Wait. No, this was supposed to work. <laughs> this was supposed to work. What the heck? What the heck? No! Oh jeez! Oh my gosh! He's here! Oh! Bad! Okay, we got this. No! No, 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 no! We killed him! Oh! I've got another squid. This is what we train for. This is what we're here for. Let's do this! Okay, here we go. One, one hit. We're gonna give him a hit here. There's another hit. One more hit, and we're gonna capture. Capture. Come on! Shoot! Okay, we got this. No, he's getting away. No, 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 no. Oh, shoot. Darn it. Okay, how are we going to get him down? I wish I had my fishing pole with me. <laughs> I wish I had my fishing pole. Okay, just a little closer there, buddy. Just a little closer. All right, this is what I'm going to do. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to ender pearl. Oh, wait, maybe I can get him now. Okay, we got him. We got him. No, one hit. Boom. We got him. Yes. Okay. Okay. That's good. That's really good. That is it. We've got it. Oh man, I was gonna ender pearl up into the air and like come down on him. I would have for sure died. Oh man, that was intense, but we got him. I really wish it would have worked out the way I was hoping, but that's okay. That's totally okay. I'm really, really pleased with the way it all worked out in the end because we've got this thing. Actually, here it is right here. Okay, so what do we need? What do we need? We need to start with the chicken. That's right, bam. Where's the chicken? Where's the chicken? Wait, that's squid. That's the chicken. Oh, no, don't put the weak one in there. Put the chicken one in there. There we go. Okay, so our next one should be the squid. Come on, squid, where are you? Okay, there's my squid. Okay, bam, we got, no, no, no. We need to put the squid in there, jeez. Okay, there's the squid. And then what's the other, what's the other thing that it needs on the side? Shoot, um, let's go back over here. Let's check this. Um, oh, oh, chicken and the squid. Okay, there we go. All right, and now the last phase is, no, 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 no. This is it, this is it. We've got, oh, you know, it keeps tricking me because what does it need then? Hold on, um, grab that. We need a bat. We forgot the bat. <gasps> After all this, we forgot the bat. Are you kidding me? Do I dare? 
to capture this charged creeper, as I once did and destroyed part of my base. But I really want to send this to Cub via the Ender mailbox. So I've got a safari net here. <laughs> okay. We're going to go in and we're going to go in fast and we're just going to grab it. Yes, we got him. Oh, we got him. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's very, very good. I wish it said charge creeper. I'd like it to say charge creeper. We're down below level 60 because I believe that is the level that the bats will spawn under. And we're just clearing out our way so we can make it through here. And made this little tiny box here. And I went up to here and I think I can hear a bat in there amongst, you know, other things. I mean, glowing eyes, creepers, things of that nature. <laughs> it's a little dangerous in here, as you guys can see through the hole. Let's open this up just a little bit and get a peek. Oh, oh yeah, that's that's bad in there. Oh, there's all sorts of terrible things. <laughs> We're just going to level up our tools here. Look at this. Just spam click. There we go. All right, so let's clear this out and I can see some beautiful bats in there. Okay, I think it's safe to go in. All right, let's get an arrow ready to go. All right, we're gonna take a little peek around the corner. Okay, so we gotta clear it. Okay, oh my gosh, we're clear. All right, and then we'll just get ourselves a nice little bat. We'll throw that into, whoa, wow, they're all scatting now. <laughs> let's see if we can level up our crossbow before we head back up. Cleaned up all of the mess, but apparently two half slabs. So let's move on over to the crafting bench and we can finally say, we have our angel ring. That is right. The angel ring has finally been achieved. Now we just need to power ourselves up and we'll be flying through the server. So I cleaned up this area a little bit. I actually made it a little wider. Um, built this pedestal back up. So off camera, I'm going to start building our cobblestone generators back up. But once we do have power, we can finally start building our base for real, which is going to be amazing. I cannot wait for that. So we need to pick a space and start working on our power. So I think we might just go out in this direction here and let me go find that screenshot I have from the critical of the mole. Explain the proper orientation of our water array. So let's actually just pull Hold that up real quick here and let's see here so in this mod extra utilities I believe there is some power generations there's like a lava there's a wind there's a water and so yeah here's the water here's a windmill I don't see the actual um, lava one I think it only generates like 2 GP maybe at best um, wind is only one so that's worthless so water is really the only way to go with this and yeah, so I think we can make this, we make four of these things, get them all set up, and then we'll be flying through the server. And like that, we now have power all set up and ready to go. It's generating the GP, which is looking really awesome. And I don't think we're going to have to attach this angel ring to the system like we did on Fullcraft 2 because those were created by Stress Monster. By me creating these is just by default um, my power. So I think that's pretty amazing. So at least we got an efficient system, unlike the first time we did this. And of course, we did the fancy little mill again and all that stuff. I didn't want to repeat that because we've done that before. All right. Before we do anything, we're going to throw that in there. We're going to take our soulbound book that we got a long time ago. And we're now soulbound to our ring. So if we ever die, we're going to still get our ring. We actually should try that a little bit later for sure. Anyway. I got to try this thing. I'm very excited with a leap of faith. Are you, do you guys believe in me? Do you believe in me? Here we go. Yes, we got it. Ha <laughs> ha. That is amazing. We're flying. We're flying higher and higher into the air. Looking down at our base. Looking super fancy. Loving it. Oh, this is going to make life so much easier. <laughs> We're going to the next level. We should have done this a long time ago. Let's, let's go in here and bleed a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Let's get some blood in our system. That's right. We're getting some blood in there. Beautiful. All right, let's pull out of there. Let's go to the top of the tree. There we go. Yeah, top of the tree. That's an unauthorized light blue block. This is my purple tree. Doesn't need to have light blue blocks. What's going on there? <laughs> oh, man, I'm so excited to be able to fly around. Let's go stand on top of our, our cactus here. Yeah, cactus fruit. Woo. Oh man, that makes me super, super happy. All right, so I want to see if this protects us from dying here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go way up here. I'm going to go way up here and let's drop, let's drop down here. There we go. Let's see if it, it works. Wait, well, why didn't it kill me? Does this actually have feather falling attached to it? 
Okay, I have a way around this. I have a way around this. Okay, take two on Scar's death here. Here we go. Okay, we're going to take it. We're going to put it. There we go. This will work. Well, you know, I really wanted to try that out, but apparently it's not going to work here. And there we go, guys, with a lot of trial and a lot of error, but we have succeeded. Don't we always succeed in the end? I mean, we have a lot of failures, a lot of failures, but we always succeed in the end. We've got exactly what we wanted. And I hope you guys enjoyed along the way. And until next time, this has been Good Times with Scar. And I always really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my videos and enjoy the fails. And until next time, we'll see you later. And don't forget to subscribe because you may just become Scar for life.